Hello, everyone. It's great to be with you. Um, life being what it is, uh, I was yesterday morning in London with a number of people here in the first rows, at least, that I know. We had gathered about 200 people uh, at Danone that essentially are trying to invent the future of our company. They were the marketing teams, the digital teams, the uh, uh, insights teams, and the research and innovation teams, all together. The leaders. And interestingly, we declared formally that our old model of doing things were just over. That was the end of it. That was the first meeting of the new era. And it's quite interesting because 24 hours later, here we are with you. And of course, if I tell you that there is a food revolution, you don't have a doubt. And probably you don't even leave it as a revolution because the startups are native of this revolution. So that's your normal. But for companies like ours, it's a new normal. And it's a new normal that's very hard to uh, adjust to for a lot of the incumbent large food and beverage companies around the world. For decades, we have claimed that we could simplify the supply chains, that we could take the cost down of food, that we were able through the power of our brands through TV to set one standard for everyone. And now technology comes, and I don't see you too much in this room, but your generation came. And your generation came with doubts that grew as a consensus that the system was not properly working. The environmental issues related to agriculture, the health issues related to obesity, diabetes, many other NCDs, related to the way we eat and drink every day, the limits in terms of affordability appeared to uh, many of you. And this is where you have decided to jump in and to make it a business. And to change the way we eat and drink for good, for a long time. Because when you start a company, you think about the long term. You have a grand vision. So I must say I'm really blessed with uh, the fact that we were privileged to have the trust of Peter and the team here for one year to have been working with a number of you, having indeed uh, mixed our teams uh, in many dimensions. 100 people of Danone have actually been interacting with startups around the food tech this year because we are learning about that future with you. Because if there is one thing that I think Danone is trying to do and has probably, hopefully, started to succeed in doing is first declaring that this revolution is for real. You cannot imagine how many people in this industry, in our large food and beverage industry, in the shareholders that we have, just don't believe that the model is broken. One of the latest Goldman Sachs reports about the food industry was pointing to us and others that no, the model is not broken. Well, we believe it is. And I can tell you, until many people believe, or as long as many people believe, that it's not broken, you have business to do. And you should do business. Now, at Danone, we've decided that we are not going to be incumbents. We are not closing down. We believe that we can bring something to this new generation. So we declared that food revolution, and we declared that we would be here to serve that food revolution, not to oppose it. It's a huge transformation for us. It's a huge transformation for our brands to reconnect human to human, people-powered brands, as we said again yesterday, installing the new ways for us to grow and to uh, invent the future. There are some incredible things that uh, the teams of Danone uh, have done together. This uh, One Planet, One Health vision, which is our motto, which is our guiding star in this complex navigation around all kind of regulations, fragmented world, politically driven topics, NGOs all over the place. We are guided by one planet, one health. Our ambition is how can we support people in adopting healthier, more sustainable eating, drinking practices. We know we cannot do this revolution alone. 
Definitely not. We need many partners. The, the small thing we did in France a few uh, weeks ago, uh, we launched our Green Day as a response to the Black Friday, where we donated 100% of the sales of our brands in France to regenerative agriculture. It's just a sign that we were able to gather many, many of the old style distribution retail people, but also some startups, many people at Danone, so, uh, a number of our uh, ecosystem of farmers in France to go to be in the shops with the consumers, with the people, with incredible impact on how they reacted to that. So if there is one thing that I would like to share with you here is that I hope that we are building a business that is compatible with the food revolution, that serves a mission that deserves the right to live for a company like ours. I'm saying this because I see all over the place people that are now obsessed in your generation mostly with the purpose of what they do, why they do things, not only how much money they make, but why they do and how they are making this money for many is more important. And I think as a large company, we have a duty to think about our own responsibility in this. And if there is one thing I'm proud of in this assembly, is with a few of the people, Manu is here and others, that we've been able to design incubators within Danone that don't have to hide their identity. They don't have to say that they have a nice acronym and they've got nothing to do with their corporate parent. Because that's how most of the incubators in the food tech by large companies operate. They just don't want to have anything to do with a parent company. No exit strategy, no synergies, no cooperation. They want money, maybe a bit of logistical support, but that's all. And we are doing things differently. We're doing things where we hope that the fact that we're able to create that purpose together, going for a different future, going for food that makes sense tomorrow, declaring that we are not perfect, but we need to change from inside, allows entrepreneurs, startups, to join the way they work with us in a completely different manner. Not a manner that will translate ultimately by some kind of financial value exit for Danone, but really joining a group, a family, a collective, basically a tribe that's making its revolution together. I'm, I'd, I'd like to use this um, parallel with the B Corp movement. I don't know how many of you are aware of what B Corps are, by the way. It's a good test for my B Corp friends. Who knows what a B Corp is? Yeah, many more people than in the usual audience. B Corps is this movement that started in the US, which is about certifying companies that go for a balanced mix of standards in their management and their objectives of social, environmental, and economics. So we have made a commitment as a listed company that we will become a B Corp. That's one of our nine integrated goals in 10 years from now. Already 30% of our sales are certified as B Corps. And it's quite interesting because I was in Amsterdam the day before yesterday uh, for the B Corp annual convention. The first time we started our partnership with B Corp, the B Corp people were very nervous that they are lending equity to one of these large incumbent companies that have litigations and claims and all kind of stuff that certainly is not right for the future. And that's true, we have that. But we have a profound desire to change, to move forward, and the energy of 100,000 people to do this together. And it's, it was interesting that for a while we were very cautious ourselves not to pollute their equity, to stay aside, not to come with our big footsteps and start, you know, just putting our steps where we shouldn't and let them grow. Essentially, the B Corp community is a community of nearly 3,000 companies now that are designing a different business, a business for good, as they want to, do, to, to call it. And it's quite interesting that when you become a B Corp, you sign a declaration. One of these declarations is a declaration of interdependence as a B Corp. And I find that profoundly legitimate and important for what you do and for what we do. Because it means a 27 uh, euro sales company declares when we sign that we feel 
completely embedded in this community, that we depend on the success of all these much smaller entities for many of them. You have some bigger B Corps. Patagonia is a wonderful B Corp. Ben & Jerry is a great B Corp. And Happy Family, our US uh, organic baby food business, is already a B Corp as well. And there are many others. Natura Cosmeticos in Brazil, etc. So large ones too, but a lot of smaller ones that are growing and that are reviving uh, the, uh, the whole spirit of this community. I will finish with that because Fundamentally, my ambition, serving your community, interacting with your community through the incubators that we have, the Manifesto uh, Accelerator in Incubator, the Danone Manifesto Venture, uh, the Health uh, for Life Capital investment that we have, we want to sign a declaration of interdependence. So I want this to be a starting point. I want this to be an adventure where you take advantage of what we can bring and we resurrect, we change the company from what you can bring to us because that revolution is way beyond us. It's about how humankind, we, as a species, will eat and drink in 30 years from now. And you know that some people are saying this is going to be one of the most complex, one of the biggest challenges that we have as a species. Uh, there has never been a more important time to be in the food industry right now. And I will finish by thanking you for creating that future.